Hey everyone, this is Alex or PolyMomoT and today I have a video showing how to make these cute little fruit jam jars and these are actually shaker charms that I made out of my Sophie and Toffee box. So this is Sophie and Toffee's Pixie box and um, this is the joy of giving so it's very holiday themed and inside the box came with a bunch of molds and different glitters and all that stuff which I'll be showing you. So the main supply is this mold and it looked like a preserves jar or like a jam jar to me but it called it a house mold which I didn't really see it so I made it into a jar of jam. So I'm pouring in my two part resin mixture that I got from a previous box and this is actually leftovers and I just mixed it together and once it's completely mixed I'm going to pour it into my jar slash house mold and let that cure for 24 hours. Also just quickly pop some bubbles with a lighter. And after 24 hours I took it out of the mold and I have my clear jar. And I thought it'd be kind of boring just to have one so I decided to make another jar. This time I added some coloring to it so I wanted to do like a gradation um, of colors so the first one I did was white. And once I had the white resin mixture made, I poured it into a cup halfway and I made that mixture pink. Next I poured the resin into the mold so I added the white resin on top and the pink resin in the bottom and filled the rest in with some white resin in the middle and then let that set for 24 hours. And then I have this very checkered washi tape that I got from a previous Sophie and Toffee box. And it's the only washi tape that fits that looks like kind of like the jar lid. So I put that on top of the jar And then using a blade, I'm just going to cut out the excess uh, washi tape. And I repeat the same steps for my clear jar. And I did want to use other washi tapes, but this is the only one that was checkered that fit. So next we're going to make the blueberries out of clay. So I took some blue clay and flattened it out into a circle shape. And using a star mold, I'm putting in a little dark blue piece of clay to make a dark blue star. And this will be like the little, I actually don't know, but it's the part of the blueberry. So I put that on top and I added some dot eyes and a line smile. And I made three of them so we can have three little blueberries in our jar. Next we're going to make the strawberries. So we're going to take some pink clay and flatten it out and pinch it into a slightly triangular shape. It looks like a guitar pick. And then for the top part of the strawberry, I'm going to flatten out some green clay, cut out a little circle. And I'm going to cut out three little points at the top of the circle. And we're going to place that on the rounded end of our strawberry. And I'm going to take some green clay and roll it into a cone and cut off the end and place that on top of our strawberry and give it some dot eyes and a line smile as well. And once baked, we have our three little strawberries. So next we're going to decorate the jam part of the jar. So we're going to take some UV resin and add in some pigment. So I'm adding some blue, but I made it a little bit too blue. So I actually lightened it by adding more resin into it, but I lost the footage. And I added some glitters to it just to make it extra sparkly. 
and we're gonna place that into our jar. And I just spread it out, kind of look like little waves on top. And for the strawberry one, I added some red pigment and I also added a little bit of black glitters to look like the little seeds of the strawberry. And mix that together and we're gonna place that into the jar and let that cure under the UV lamp. And this is how the jar looks. And I think it looks so nice right now. I like want to just end it right here, but we add our little blueberries to it. And I'm gonna add some resin on top of the frame. And I'm just gonna spread it really thin. And I'm putting the shaker mold filament on top and letting that cure under the UV lamp. And we're gonna do the same thing with the strawberry one. So this is our strawberry jam. We're gonna add our little strawberries and repeat the same thing we did for the blueberry one. So once it's fully cured, I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna cut out the shape of the jar. So we can cut off the excess plastic and this is the most tedious part. And we're gonna do the same thing with the strawberry one. And we're gonna take off the plastic filament on top and here's the shaker. And next we're gonna add a little ribbon. So we're gonna add some pigments and make like a mint ribbon and a pink ribbon and place that into our ribbon mold. And you have to be really careful because there can be a lot of bubbles if you're using UV resin or any resin. And once it's fully cured, we're going to take it out of the mold. And then we're going to super glue it onto our jar. So I added the mint ribbon onto the blueberry jar. And then the pink ribbon onto the strawberry jar. So these are my shaker charms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and listened to some ASMR shaking. And P.S. I made the strawberries a little bit too big so they don't shake as well as the blueberries do unfortunately. But I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.